This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another dueling book dual commentary and I am going to be playing with the Pendulum Magician deck yet again. I'm playing a single though, uh, playing another single because I have no real like reason to play in matches until Code of the Duelist comes out, one, and is implemented onto their ranked servers, uh, which will be this Friday, and then also I just really <laughs> have no other reason uh, for uh, for playing in sided games and stuff like that. But so, uh, I opened a GoFu, so I'm going to use it. Uh, to gain some tokens, and we'll see where we go from here. The only thing you can have, like, is literally like a max C, so I'm just gonna have to summon them anyway. Uh, but then I'll go ahead and link up into my link spiders and then into my decode talker. And honestly, what I need to have access to is I need to have access to. I don't have access to Star Pendulum Graph, and that's a little bit irritating. Uh, because I don't have... If this had been like Duelist Alliance, this is literally the one card in my deck. The one of. The one of Pendulum Call. If it had been a... Uh, if it had been Duelist Alliance, I could have searched Star Pendulum Graph. And that would have been much, much better. Um, you assume no custom cards this game? Well, I mean, it's TCG and it's ranked. So, it shouldn't have custom cards in it. But, anyway. I'm going to normal summon this Joker over here. I'm going to use its effect. I get to resolve double Wisdom Eyes. Um, and then... Well, I can't actually resolve double Wisdom Eye. Uh, unless... Hmm... Well, let's see. I could do double Wisdom Eye, but I would be putting Harmonizing in my scale. I can't activate Pendulum Call if I've used Magician Effects earlier in the turn. So that kind of sucks. But so what I'm going to end up doing then is I'm going to end up adding, I guess, Purple Poison, and then I could use Pendulum Call to discard a Wisdom Eye. I could scale Purple, I could uh, add Oath Dragon, and then, uh, I could add Oath Dragon, and then, uh, the Harmonizing Magician, and then that would give me those things to work with. It's probably gonna be better in the long run if I do that. So, yeah, I'll add Purple Poison here, and then I'll be able to Pendulum Call discard Wisdom Eye, because I'm not gonna be putting it in my scales, unless... Uh, I'll be able to do this. I'll be able to overlay the two uh, magicians into Time Star, add the harmonizing. But this, it's just not going to be worth it. So I guess I'll add Purple Poison and then discard Wisdom Eye with Pendulum Call. This is probably pretty questionable of a play, uh, but we'll see how it works out. Because I, I can't use Wisdom Eye and then Pendulum Call, and I'd rather have Pendulum Call to get an Oaf Dragon and a Harmonizing Magician. And Oath Dragon will be able to add back the Wisdom Eye that I just discarded, so it's going to be like value there as well. Uh, but so Harmonizing Magician will come to my hand, and then Oath Dragon will come to my hand. And where's the Oath Dragon? Where are you, my friend? You're down here at the very, very bottom. Sad times. But so people seem to like this. And I actually got a lot of like friend requests on Dueling Book after that video went live. Uh, of, and people asking like if they wanted me to uh, film them playing games and whatnot. And I mean the answer is yes, but at the same time I was also kind of busy, so a little bit unfortunate on uh, on that regard. But so uh, I will pin to summon. I will pendulum the the harmonizing here and the oaf dragon. I'll pendulum summon it in the decode talker slot. Uh, Harm F, and then Oaf F. Um, so Oaf will add back the Wisdom Eye that has been discarded to my grave. So now if any of these scales leave, I'll be able to just do a Wisdom Eye next turn. And then with this Harmonizing Magician, I will be able to summon... Ooh, what do I want to summon here? Probably Black Fang? Uh, it's going to get either... It's going to get Synchroed with, so I don't really think it matters. I actually don't think I want to get rid of the Black Fang. Specifically because I have less of it than I do the uh, the double iris magicians because there's still one more double iris magician in the deck alongside this. And if I got rid of a black fang, then that would be getting rid of a recurring option, things of that nature. But okay, so from here I could synchro harmonizing in this, or I could just make time star magician, which would 
protect me from some other sorts of things, but it's not really a defensive card, which is what I'm not really a fan of. Uh, I kind of think I need to Synchro here, like Synchro away into like an Omega. Uh, but at the same time, I don't necessarily have to. I don't know. I think I just need to, though, really, because I put this here when it probably shouldn't be there. Uh, so we'll put this in the extra deck face up. Uh, and then this will get to get banished. And then I will summon this Omega. See, I don't even know what I'm playing against at this point, so... Um, like, that's the, that's the problem. And I'm not playing any, like, zoo cards in this deck, although I do have a, uh, I do have a zoo list that is pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. But, uh, it also has, uh, one. Alright, well then we'll take this one. Um, it, uh, it just, okay. Oh, Fabled's. Interesting. Okay, well, I mean, at the same time, that is something that I would expect in singles, because that's, like, a place where you're gonna experiment with that shit. Uh, but so this turn one was very lackluster. Uh, it would have been much better if that Pendulum Call had just outright been Dual Alliance or Star uh, Pendulum Graph. But can't really complain because I'm not really playing the best build that I could be playing. Um, oh, whoa, reading. <laughs> Let's see, when this card is activated, both players lose a thousand life points and if they do, each draws a card. All cards that are drawn while this, card, while this card's effect is applied must remain revealed. When a player's spell card in their hand is revealed by this effect, that player cannot normal summon or set monsters. Okay. Um, you can only activate one contract with Dark Fountain. Okay, so I lose a thousand, and I draw a card, and it has to be revealed. Uh, so it's a Skullcrabat Joker, so I can still normal summon or set. Uh, and it's, let's see, uh, each draws one card. All cards that are drawn with this card's effect must be... Okay, so if I draw a spell next turn, then I'm fine. Uh, but so, Brilliant Fusion, Sending a Lapis. Alright. Uh, so, Lapis, and then something else, probably Lazuli, honestly, to add the Lapis back. That's the only thing I could see if you're playing a more... But let's see, you're, you're playing Fabled. There's a Fabled Cruise in here. Hmm. Fabled is one of those decks that I really like. I've always really liked it. Uh, back in 2011, I played it a little bit, and I had the entire deck, and it was... It's really fun because it's just an extreme combo deck and your pieces have to work properly. And we do have three Reborn Tengu now, and the thing is the deck does, uh, does kind of, uh, the deck does kind of just rotate around like one Synchro Summon at a time, like putting a Synchro Monster and then like upgrading it into something else. So that could probably easily implement Lynx. Uh, so okay, he sent, hmm, I wonder why he's playing Lapis specifically. If he's just using it essentially as a garnet. Maybe it's because of its level, I'm not sure. Uh, but Fabled Kushano is a good card to put in Grave. Uh, and then he's got Fabled Raven, which he can then use for discards. So that was his additional normal. He's discarding Level Eater and Fabled Lurry. And when this card is discarded, the graveyard special summon it. Okay, so this goes up. This goes up by uh, by two levels and 800 attack. So that I mean that's not really the most relevant, but at the same time. Uh, but my scales are fine. My scales are intact, and that's all I really need to worry about. This Harmonizing Magician is permanently lost to me, though. So next turn, if I want to summon another level 8 Synchro, I'm going to have to Skullcrabat Joker into another Harmonizing Magician of some capacity. Uh, but so he's able to go into Fabled Ragin here with these, uh, but he could also eat her off of the Seraph Knight. Man, this is all right. This, is, this seems pretty all right. He's trying to pop off. I can see it. But so he can Synchro those into five, Probably for Fabled Ragin, draw two cards. Seems pretty alright. Uh, and then, so I think it was, that was, this card was super, super, like, questionable. Because if he had drawn a spell card, then, <laughs> then he wouldn't have been able to normal summon or set. Oh, he drew a glow bulb with it. Oh my god. Like, whoa. Uh, but at this point, he can't synchro into formula. He has to synchro into six here because the Seraph Knight was four. The level leader comes out. So this is Coral Dragon. All right. So Coral Dragon plus Reagan. All right. Now, Coral Dragon can't disrupt my scales in any way. Uh, and the thing is, is that even if he tries to target a card, uh, I can just tribute the Oaf Dragon with Decode Talker to negate and destroy um, the, the Coral Dragon. Uh, target. Uh, targeting that. Um, I'll use uh, Deco Talker F 
to tribute this and destroy the Coral Dragon. Because he'll get to draw a card, but at the same time, I am I think I'm okay with this. He should have used Level Eater first, right? Because then, at this point, he can sum he could have summoned, like, Glow Bulb back, and then it would have been fine. Uh, but Deco Talker allows me... Um, Deco Talker allows me to kill his Coral Dragon. He draws a card. Now he can mill with Bulb. He can summon back Level Eater off of his Fabled Reagan. But at the same time, he could have preserved that level uh, by just eating it off the Coral Dragon first. Uh, what is this? Draw Muscle. Oh my god. <laughs> really? <laughs> he's drawing another card. Um, he's trying so hard. This Fabled Turbo deck. It's actually putting in some work. But Fabled Grimrow. Oh my god, now he gets to add a card, but he's already normal summoned, but that was his one normal summon. Um, and he, I don't know if he has a discard outlet. Oh, he does, he has the Kushano! Oh wow! Um, I'm actually, I'm actually getting punished for allowing that Coral Dragon to die. This is a bit of a problem, I didn't expect this to be the case. Uh, but Kushano adds itself to his hand. Okay, it doesn't summon itself, I was like, thank god. I... I was I thought the Kushano summoned itself and then the cruise was gonna summon something and then that was gonna be a problem But so he can go into formula he can go into to draw another card He can normal summon the Kushano because he's already normal summon. No, he's normal summoned the Raven And then he normal summoned the gold bulb. So he has no more normal summons. Uh, that is actually something that I need to keep in mind so all that he has left to do with his turn is the formula that he could summon off of the level eater and the glow up bulb, and then whatever other things he gets into off of that. So, okay, this isn't nearly as bad as I was expecting to be. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this, uh, this, uh, where did this come from? Did he add this to his hand off the, off the thing? Uh, I guess. So he's synchroing here into formula. So now he's got a level four fabled Reagan. He's got a level two tuner, and now he's about to have a formula, which is another level two tuner. So he can synchro into six with the Reagan. Uh, but there's not really, um, but there's not really a lot that I can see him really doing. But formula, he gets to draw, and then he synchros with Reagan into what? Into Stardust Charge Warrior, draw another card. All right, <laughs> he's drawing so many cards. I should have just let the card die. I should have just let the Skull Cravat Joker die. Um, like wow. Um, now the thing is, is that. I can just make the Skullcrabat Joker go up to 3k uh, with this, and then it won't die. <laughs> because this is protected by Pendulum Call. Uh, so he's doing this. Fable Chawa. Alright. Special summon this card from your hand. Yeah, yeah. He discarded a Kushano, which doesn't really do anything. Uh, except allow him to have discard outlets for his other Fableds. He's going to eat off the Stardust Charge Warrior. He hasn't used the Raven's effect on field yet. He's synchroing here into what, another formula? I mean, geez, man. I he, The thing is, is that I don't know if this Fable deck does anything real, because he's doing a lot of turboing into cards, but he's also not doing a lot of much of anything. Like, that's the thing. Like, this Star's Charge Warrior is the realest thing that he's done so far, outside of my disruption with Decode Talker. And what that means is that, like, he can't kill the Decode Talker because it's boosted by his formula. And he can't kill this because if he attacks it, I'm just going to use Purple Poison's effect and damage step. Um, like, because it says if it battles. It doesn't have to be during my turn and attacking. It just it triggers when it battles. Uh, but so he Grimrode for Fabled something. I uh, don't know quite what it was. But so he's discarding two. Or he's discarding... Why did he discard? He discarded two and then he discarded Fabled Lori. Okay, so he discarded the Brilliant Fusion and he discarded Fabled Lori. So now this is a four. This is a one. Now he gets to make another... Uh, like, something here. Okay. He synchroed into, what, 8? Is that what that was? Ah. Aside from Lord Omega. I see. I see you, I see you seeing my seeing. Uh, so, level eating off of it. Probably gonna take a card out of my hands, maybe. Uh, but then this is another fabled Reagan, yes? Yes, it is. He's drawing more cards. I don't, he's doing a whole lot of nothing, though. I don't know what he's... I don't know what he's sitting here trying to accomplish. I mean, the Omega is going to be pretty all right, taking a card out of my hands. Uh, but at the same time, don't know if it's actually like relevant per se. Uh, but so I can discard the Duelist Alliance, or I could discard this. Which yeah, I'll just discard this because this can be added back by the Oath Dragon again. Like, it's it's pretty easy. 
Uh, but so he just did that for Fabled Cerebral. The level leader comes back eating off the Omega. So he's going to use the Omega for a lot of level leaders, and then he's going to banish the Omega. The thing is, I'm not worried about this, is the problem. This Omega is cool and all, but this Omega can't beat over the Deco Talker. It can't beat over the Skull Crobat Joker. Um, that's the thing. And now both of his extra zones are maintained and kept up with. So now he can't synchro into six with this level leader, uh, or with this uh, Cerberal and this Reagan. Uh, but no, he can just do that. Right. Um, for kind of forgot about that one for a second, but at the same time, uh, it's fine. Um, He's saying, oh shoot, but for what reason? Um, that's the question. I think he might have fucked up, maybe, if he's saying, oh shoot. Not sure. What is this profile picture, by the way? Like, I don't understand. Fabled's is a very cool deck. And see, like, look, he's doing a bunch of things around the Link Zone, but at the same time, he's being benefited because I'm giving, I gave him a Decode Talker Zone to point to. Co post Code of the Duelist, this zone is not going to be pointing here because the deck gravitates into uh, Link Spider's uh, uh, damage step. Um, Alright, so Purple Poison kills that, and so now at this point, the Omega gets, my Omega gets come back, which adds his Cruise back to his hand, which is fine. My Duelist Alliance is not going to come back until next turn. Yeah, so he, did, he did a whole lot of literally nothing. I'm kind of upset at the same time, but not really. But the Zoo variant that I play of this, that I've got built for when Code of the Duels goes live, we not we were never summoning Decode Talker. We summon a Link Spider and a Proxy Dragon that, uh, that opens up the two zones left and right. And Proxy Dragon gives more uh, generic protection. But So I'm going to put Cypher Lord Omega back over here. And uh, I'm putting it here because I don't really think it matters, but at the same time, kind of don't want to have to deal with it. The Luna gets to be Pendulum Summoned, as well as the Oaf Dragon that is in my extra deck. Uh, but he has Cruise back in hand. I cannot summon that Harmonizing Magician, but I can add one to my hand off of the Skullcrabat Joker. I can add with Skullcrabat Joker, and then I can overlay into Time Star. Uh, or I could overlay into Tornado Dragon and just get rid of this back row, uh, which is more than likely going to be what happens. Uh, so, I'll attempt to use F, um, and, okay, so I'm not even bound by this anymore because I drew, uh, the Skullcrabat Joker, and so I'm gonna use this to add the Harmonizing Magician to my hand, to my handy, uh, but I'm just gonna be able to clear his board and kill him. Uh, his deck is powerful, yes, but at the same time, I don't think it's a problem, a problemo. But so we'll overlay these, and then the Deco Talker still gives me protection from Twin Twister. So at the same time, I'm feeling pretty smug. Uh, uh, but so we'll see if the summon of this Tornado Dragon is fine. And then uh, we'll use the effect on that back row. And so from here, I just have to deal with the level leader. I feel like it's a machine dupe. What are you machine dupe in this deck? That's what I'm curious about. What do you machine do? <laughs> what do you machine do? Puh. Uh, so I can Pendulum Oaf Dragon, I can Pendulum Harmonizing, and I can Pendulum Luna. Um, but then the Harmonizing won't be able to get its effect. I could go ahead and Banish again with Cypher and Lord Omega. Uh, I think it's still plenty of damage if I do Ignis. If I do Ignister and spin these, then it's still just game. Yeah, so uh, I'll go ahead and use Omega effect. Um... To, to banish a card, and we will see what we hit. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll banish that card, and uh, and we'll see where that goes from there. I'm not gonna keep re-rolling. <laughs> like that's. I'm not gonna keep re-rolling until I hit a one or a two. Um. Like <laughs> Fable Ganasha. Okay, so he has Cruz and Ganasha in hand, and so from here. I can Pendulum Summon, uh, and then I just prove how unfair the game mechanics is, are like stacked against his deck. Uh, but so I get to Pendulum Oaf Dragon from the extra deck here. I get to Special Summon the Harmonizing Magician, and then I get to Special Summon the Fairy Tale Luna. Uh, so then I have Oaf F, uh, 
harm F. So I get the special summon here. No, let's not mill a card. That's not what we do. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you see, this lag just kind of... No! Stop it! Well, actually, that's the card I'm going to summon. So, at the same time, um, I keep fucking... I keep fucking clicking too fast, and the lag hasn't caught up. That's what's getting me. But at the same time, I'm playing really late at night when my own internet bandwidth is very, uh... Lackluster, I guess, would be what we use to describe this. Uh, but I am literally just going to summon Dark uh, or Black Fang, actually. <laughs> it's just actually the better one to summon in this situation. And then Oaf Dragon here is going to add back the Wisdom Eye to mine hand. Because it got discarded off the, uh, the Dark World dealings. And now from here, I can't actually make a level 8 Synchro. Um, I can use the Luna to try and bounce his level eater, but at the same time, uh, what I could do is I can use I can use Double Iris on the Harmonizing Magician. Yeah, this Ove Dragon taking up this extra spot is actually kind of a problem, but at the same time, I don't think I'm afraid of his deck at this point because all I know that he has in his hand is a Cruise, which I know is a possible thing, but at the same time, not really. I should have probably made Diamond Dire instead of Tornado Dragon in the retrospect, but it, it seems fine. So I can kill, kill, I can attack, 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 do things. Uh, this is uh, once per turn if your Dark Spellcaster type monster battles, it gains 1200 attack until you know the damage. Step. Okay, so what I can do is I can use Double Iris to. Okay, uh, awesome. Double Iris F on. Harmonizing. This is what we're gonna do, right? Uh, we're gonna do this just so we get uh, we get access to uh, things. Because this can be this is gonna be able to kill one of his monsters with the purple poison effect, uh, and then this will destroy itself. Um, and then uh, double iris destroyed F, and I'll add a time pendulum graph to my hand so that I have disruption during his turn. Because we don't need Star Pendulum Graph. We don't need that at all. We've already committed to our Pendulum Summon. Uh, everything seems fine and dandy there. But so I can set this. I can keep the Wisdom Eye for the next turn. That makes the Purple Poison be able to do things. But the Purple Poison is actually going to allow me to clear clear cards. Uh, so yeah, actually, this is really damn good. Um, so I'm going to enter the battle phase. And I'm going to use... Harmon, because this can target, my, this can do my Black Fang too. Uh, but I'll use Harmonizing to attack this. Uh, damage step, Purple Poison, F. And so it'll go to the extra face up. And then Purple Poison, Destroyed F to destroy the Cerberal. And then now I just get to attack with all of these for game. Um, so like that's 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 how we that's how we get these little things going. We make a we make a harmonizing magician able to attack <laughs> for 1,200 over a monster so that it dies. Uh, so yeah, like he had a cool fabled deck, but at the same time he did a whole lot of nothing. Like, he summoned one Omega. He drew a ton of cards. This card seemed really sketchy, especially when he was about to follow it up with a brilliant fusion. Not sure how like useful this one is. Um, and at the same time. Did he ever pay the 1000 for it? I don't think he did. Um, no, he did. Okay. <laughs> he paid 1000 and then I said reading. Okay. But anyway, so this has been a long-ass video. Oh my god. And this is why I probably won't be doing matches. But my opponent was literally just turboing through his cards. So there is that. But anyway, sorry for the long video. If you stayed here and watched this far, then give us a hashtag fabled in the comments down below to let me know you got this far. But other than that, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links, as always, are in the description. It's my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. Helps make me be able to keep making content, and you'd have my eternal gratitude if that's something you want to go check out and maybe consider contributing something as little as a dollar to it. Helps out a ton, as I've already said. But other than that, thanks for watching, as I've already said. Thanks for your time, as usual, guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video, which will hopefully not be as long as this one. Jesus Christ.